Have you ever wondered what might have happened if the Pittsburgh Steelers had landed one of the 49ers stars? Recently, a rumor emerged that touched all fans. The Steelers almost closed a trade to bring an elite wide receiver from the San Francisco for Niners, but the negotiations fell apart at the last minute. Michael Lombardi, a respected analyst and former general manager of the NFL, revealed this news on his podcast, raising many speculations. According to Lombardi, the Steelers were very close to making a trade during draft weekend. Expectations were so high that the team even started restructuring contracts to make room in the salary cap. Omar Khan, the Steelers' general manager, was ready to make the move that could have changed the fate of the upcoming season. But, unfortunately, negotiations with the 49ers fell through at the last minute. If you like this video, don't forget to like and leave your comments below. We want to hear from you. Who do you think would be the best addition to the team, Ayuk, Samuel, or another receiver? And don't forget to subscribe to the Steelers news channel so you don't miss any news. Turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything about our beloved team. Let's root for the Steelers together towards another successful season, until next time, and go Steelers! Even without precise details about who the target would be Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuel, the mere possibility left Steelers fans in an uproar. That kind of move would have put the Steelers in an even stronger position for next season, and the frustration was palpable when word spread that the deal didn't come to fruition. We all know the Pittsburgh Steelers are in dire need of a high-caliber wide receiver. With George Pickens the only experienced option, the need to strengthen that position is clear. But who would be the best fit? The most talked about names are Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel, both exceptional players for the 49ers. Currently, the Steelers squad has promising young players such as Roman Wilson, who could surprise as a rookie, and Kelvin Austin, who is looking to show his service after a period marked by injuries. We also have Van Jefferson, who has already had good moments with the Rams, and Quiz Watkins, trying to secure his space. But so far, none of them have proven to be the definitive answer the Steelers need to complement Pickens. Speculation surrounding the trade with the 49ers has intensified the need for a reliable receiver. Rumors suggest the Steelers were so sure of the deal that they began restructuring contracts, like Alex Highsmith's, to make room under the salary cap. This move indicates how close they were to adding a key piece to the attack, which could transform the team's offensive dynamics. The trades that nearly brought a star-wide receiver from the 4-9ers to the Pittsburgh Steelers were undoubtedly one of the most exciting and frustrating moments of the offseason. As reported by Michael Lombardi, during the draft, the Steelers thought they had finalized a deal with the 4-9ers, but it all fell apart at the last minute. Speculation about which player was about to don the black and gold jersey, Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuel, left fans in anticipation. Lombardi himself mentioned that the Steelers were so confident in the trade that they began adjusting their contracts to accommodate the new salary. Restructuring linebacker Alex Highsmith's contract was one such move, indicating the team was ready to add an elite receiver. This level of preparation shows how committed the Steelers' management was to strengthening the team. Although Lombardi was the only one to report this attempted trade, the veracity of his words resonated strongly in the Steelers' community. The possibility of adding a receiver like Ayuk or Samuel, who are known for their ability and performance on the field, would have been a huge boost to the team's aspirations. Unfortunately, as negotiations fell through at the last minute, the Steelers now need to look for other options to bolster their roster. If the trade had gone through, the Pittsburgh Steelers would have faced significant financial implications. Signing a player of the caliber of Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuel is not just a matter of skill on the field, but also of salary cap management. With substantial salaries, both players would require major financial adjustments on the Steelers' part. The restructuring of Alex Highsmith's contract was a clear indication of the Steelers' seriousness about making this trade happen. Moves like this are rare and show the intention to create space in the budget to accommodate a high-value contract. This demonstrates how much the front office was willing to invest in bringing an elite wide receiver to Pittsburgh. Furthermore, the need for a contract extension for a newly acquired player would also have been a crucial point. 
Both Ayuk and Samuel expect to be paid as high as the league's top receivers, meaning the Steelers would have to be prepared to offer a competitive, long-term contract. This financial consideration is essential to ensure not only the signing, but also the retention of an elite player on the roster. Rumors about the Pittsburgh Steelers trading for a 4 9 0 receiver had a considerable impact on this year's draft. Speculation was so high that many believed the 4 9 0 player selection was directly linked to a possible trade. Selecting a wide receiver early in the draft suggested that the 49ers were preparing for the departure of one of their key players, which further raised expectations among Steelers fans. During the draft, the 49ers selected a wide receiver in the early rounds, which led many to believe that a trade with the Steelers was imminent. The decision to draft a new receiver indicated that the 49ers were seriously considering clearing space on their roster to accommodate this new addition. If the trade had occurred, it could have significantly changed the Steelers' dynamic, offering a new dimension to their offense. The Steelers, on the other hand, were ready to take on the contract and responsibility of a new wide receiver. The lead-up to this trade, including restructuring contracts and freeing up salary cap space, shows how close they were to securing an impact player. This level of preparation and expectation underscores the seriousness with which Steelers management was approaching this opportunity to strengthen the team. Although negotiations failed at the last minute, the future could still hold surprises for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers insider Ray Fittipaldo suggested the team isn't done searching for an elite wide receiver. He believes the Steelers will have a new receiver on their roster by September, even if he is not currently on the roster. This keeps hope alive that a new negotiation can take place before the start of the season. The Steelers have been consistently linked to big names on the market like Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel. The search for a wide receiver is not only a strategic necessity, but also a response to the league's growing competitiveness. Adding an elite player to the roster could be the difference needed to transform the Steelers' offense and put them in an even stronger position to compete next season. While speculation continues, Steelers fans should stay tuned for the team's next moves. Management is clearly committed to improving the team, and with salary cap space opening up, the possibility of a big signing is still real. Whether through a trade or a new opportunity on the market, the Steelers are determined to strengthen their roster and continue their quest for another Super Bowl. It's clear that the Pittsburgh Steelers' negotiations to acquire an elite wide receiver from the 49ers were exciting and full of potential. Even though discussions fell apart at the last minute, the Steelers' management's determination to strengthen the roster is evident. With the ongoing search for a high-caliber receiver, the future may yet hold positive surprises for all passionate fans. As we await more updates and possible new trades, it's important to stay informed and engaged with everything involving the Steelers. Every move, every rumor, could mean a big change for the next season. If you like this video, don't forget to like and leave your comments below. We want to hear from you. Who do you think would be the best addition to the team, Ayuk, Samuel, or another receiver? And don't forget to subscribe to the Steelers news channel so you don't miss any news. Turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything about our beloved team. Let's root for the Steelers together towards another successful season. Until next time, and go Steelers!